Okay, it turns out that the easy arc length problems are few and far between. Most of them are difficult arc length problems. For example, suppose you take everybody's favorite curve, the curve y equals x squared. That can't be so bad. And let's say we want to find the distance from negative uh, 1 up to 2. Okay, what's the length of this curve, right? I mean... We've done linear, then quadratic. How bad can that be? Well, okay. The formula is integral from a to b squared of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. And I'd like you to remember this formula. So what is it? Your function is y equals 2x, so dy d, uh, y equals x squared, so dy dx is 2x. And so our arc length is the integral from negative 1 to 2 of square root of 1 plus 2x the quantity squared. And this is the integral from negative 1 to 2 of the square root of 1 plus 4x squared dx. And we have no means of solving this right now. You might try to go u equals 1 plus 4x squared, but du is going to be 8x dx, and you just can't come up with it. You can't say that this u is something whose derivative is elsewhere. There's just, there's the dx, but there's, and you can make an 8 by putting a 1 8 out front. You can't get the x. We do not know how to solve this integral. So at this point, I'll just say, write the integral. We're done. Uh, what else could we do? Oh, wouldn't it be lovely to know that on, on a trig function, like y equals sine of x, why, wouldn't it be lovely to know what one little bump of this curve was? You know, that'd be pretty sweet. That would be going from 0 up to pi. That can't be so bad, right? If y is the sine of x, then dy dx, the derivative is uh, cosine of x. And so we are left with the length is going to be the integral from 0 to pi of the square root of 1 plus cosine squared of x dx. Now, if that were 1 minus cosine squared, then that would be the same thing as sine squared. The square root of sine squared is just sine, and that's something I know how to take the integral of. 1 plus cosine squared? I'm stuck. There I am. That's the end of it. Um, <laughs> what else is there? Uh, you know, any function you want. You want to the square root of x, that's kind of the same thing. Well, yeah, why not? If y is the square root of x. So what have we got? We've got, it uh, goes up sort of like this, and let's say we want the distance from 1 up to 9, because those are points that I understand, I understand pretty well. Let's see, dy dx is... That is what, x to the 1 half, so it's 1 half x to the minus 1 half, or 1 over 2 square root of x. So that length is the integral from 1 to 9 of square root of 1 plus 1 over 2 root x squared dx, which is the integral from 1 to 9 of 1 plus what is that? 1 over 4x dx. And you could find a common denominator if you want. You could say 1 to 9 of, what is it? 4x over 4x, 4x plus 1 over 4x dx. I'm not getting anywhere. I'm just not getting anywhere. That integral is as good as this one. I mean, yeah, we could square it, but or this one. They're all... They're all things that I can't take the integral of. Could I? E uh, no, not really. Uh, I mean, if I set this equal to u, it's still square root of 1 plus 1 over u isn't something I know how to deal with. Uh, 
it's a mess. This formula, it's a lovely formula. But again, as I, we talked about with shells and discs, it motivates us to try to find more techniques to evaluate integrals. There are one or two integrals that, one or two functions that when you take their derivative and square it and add one, you get something that can be written as a perfect square and therefore make the square root go away. I'm going to dig one up and put it on your uh, classwork homework. But for the meantime, this is your formula. Memorize this formula. Learn how to use it. It's the arc length formula. But rarely does it get something that we know how to take the integral of at this point.